Once upon a time, there was a woodcutter. He used to cut down trees for a living, and he used to use a saw. Now one day, a fellow was walking past the wood where this woodcutter was working, and he noticed that he was making really heavy weather of it. Apparently, his saw must have been blunt or something. It wasn't going through the wood of the tree at all. So he went over to the woodcutter and he said to him, why don't you sharpen your saw? And the woodcutter turned around to him and said, I can't afford to take time off to sharpen the saw. I've got to get this tree cut down before midnight. And the other guy walked off and then he thought about it and said, well, surely if he just took an hour off or whatever it takes to sharpen the saw, then he could get this job finished in half a day instead of taking a whole day. And in a way, that's a bit like what I've been running up against with uh, with my guitar videos. This is my guitar, and I'm planning to make a video course about how to play the guitar in seven days. It is possible using two and a half pencils and a rubber band. Yeah, but that's got you guessing. Anyway, um, the problem is, when I started playing the guitar, when I started recording some of the videos, it doesn't sound too wonderful. And it's not just my playing. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad, but it could still be better. And it's because I haven't taken the time to actually take time out and change the strings on it. If you look at these, these strings here, they're really... They've gone a bit past it. You know, the, the sweat, the perspiration off my fingers has actually started to corrode the strings and they're not they're not at their brilliant best anymore. So I've had to order a set of strings to come through so I can change the strings. I'll actually film myself changing the strings so that will actually be part of the course, how to change the strings. Uh, but I'm going to have to take the time out to do that job before I can get on with the real job. And sometimes it's like that in your business. You know, you have to take time out. Sometimes you have to take time out to go and meet people, do some networking, or go to some uh, training courses or something like that. But other times, what you need to do is to take time out to do some reading. And that's what I've been doing over the last couple of weeks. I've been concentrating on reading some really good information. First of all, there's this book, which is called The Midas Method by Stuart Goldsmith. And it's absolutely brilliant at telling you how he became rich and how you can become rich too. And then I've been listening to this one. It's an audio book by Noah St. John and it's called The Great Little Book of Affirmations. Notice that was affirmations and not affirmations. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a future post. Um, but if you really want to get ahead in your business, especially your online business, then the best way I can recommend to you is to start by downloading a copy, a free copy, of my report all about doing business on the internet. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll find the link in the description below. If you're already on my blog, you'll be able to see the link over on the left there. There's a, a sign-in box where you can put your name and your best email address, please. Um, I don't want to be sending email and, and free reports and things off to fictitious addresses that don't exist, like Mickey Mouse or Benito Mussolini or anybody like that. What I'd like is your really your very best email address so that I can send this information to you and it will get to you. Head over there right now. The blog is at http colon slash slash uh, informationmarketinginsights.com and you'll find lots more information on there and I'm planning to do maybe some more of these. Oh, by the way, if you can remember where I got that story about the sharpen your saw from, would you mind leaving me a, a, a comment at the bottom of the page to remind me where I got it from? Because I can't for the life of me think where it came from. It's one of those classic texts, I'm sure, but I just haven't had the chance to do any research on that one. So, what are you waiting for? Get out there and sharpen your own saw. Bye.